The teapot. Once, in a kitchen that looked rich and elegant, sat Blush the teapot. Expensive and delicate, Blush was made to sit on a soft cushion, and was always surrounded by shiny cups. Only the maid of the highest rank was supposed to touch Blush. That too, with gloves on. Blush was a beautiful teapot. She had a long handle and spout, which was artistically curvy. She was made using expensive clay and was hand decorated. She was classy and gorgeous. The spoons, the pans, the old tinder box, the big old clock were all mesmerized by her beauty. But nobody complimented her. They never appreciated anything she did. They were secretly jealous of her. Her beauty scared them. They knew they would never be as flawless as she was. But Blush saw a grave flaw in herself. She had a tiny scratch on her lid. It was so tiny that her owner never even noticed it. But that never stopped Blush from feeling incomplete. While for her owner, she was the most beautiful teapot. For Blush herself, she was a teapot with a scratch. Oh, oh! Can I please have your autograph? Please, just one drop of tea on my shiny surface. I am not dropping anything. You, who are you anyway? Oh, I am the milk jug, of course. The earlier one broke, so I was custom made to suit you. I heard the lady say in the store that she would hate to break the set. They paid extra money to make me belong with you. Oh, that's nice. Do you like tea then? I do. Ever since I heard the lady talk, I was desperate to see you, and I am in awe. You are so beautiful. Oh, thank you. What's the matter? I am not a beautiful teapot as you believe. I am a teapot with a scratch. I don't deserve all these compliments. A scratch? Yes, on my lid. I don't deserve to be called perfect and flawless because I am not. What are you talking about? You are as perfect as 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 perfect can get. You don't understand. Everybody in this kitchen knows about my flaw, and they keep talking about it. Listen. What if she falls out of the owner's hand? Of course she would. I don't understand. What is she so proud of? The scratch on her lid? Ha <laughs> ha! That's true, and I'm sure the scratch is because of her arrogance itself. I heard that she inched her neck so high in pride that she bumped into the chandelier. What? How is that possible? The chandelier is up there. No, no, I know the story. She was jumping once to go somewhere, and the lid kept flapping. Everybody asked her to slow down, but she wouldn't listen. And crack! There it was. I mean, she is supposed to be beautiful, and look at her now. <sighs> See, you heard that. Uh, yes, I heard how they couldn't make any sense at all. Seriously, you hit the chandelier and you jumped and crashed the lid on yourself. Who are they kidding? I don't believe that's how you got that scratch. How did you get it anyway? I. I don't remember. Well, you don't remember because it's not important. But didn't you hear them? I am supposed to be beautiful and perfect. It's my duty. You are not supposed to be beautiful and perfect. That's not your duty. That's all caffeine talk. Listen, somebody will love you, and somebody will hate you. You decide what to spend your energy on, love or hate. You can't keep worrying about what everyone thinks of you. 
only be worried about what you think of yourself. In the end, that's all that matters. Just then, Blush was picked up by the maid with a white glove. She opened her lid and poured hot water in. Blush loved being filled with hot water. It made her feel warm inside. But each time, she was also silently scared that her scratch will suddenly be visible to all. As Blush was busy being cautious for nothing, something terrible happened. As her owner came in and picked her up, he wasn't steady enough, which made Blush slip through his hands. No! The pans, spoons, milk jug, everybody watched in horror as the teapot made the giant fall. And then... And just like that, Blush was on the ground. Her lid was smashed. Her long handle and her beautiful spout lay on the floor beside her. The beautiful teapot was picked up and taken away. Oh my, I knew this day would come. True that. She should have handled herself better. I am sure it's because of that scratch. It's because of that that she could not balance herself. Is it true? Did I fall because of my flaw? Blush couldn't understand that there was nothing she could have done to stop the fall. She was kept in the attic for days. She had no clue what her fate had stored for her. Blush cried and cried all day and all night. Oh, I hate it in here. I miss the kitchen, the soft white glove, the hot water, the sunshine, the cushion. I miss everything. This is so strange. When I was there, I was constantly worried about what others were thinking about me. I don't remember enjoying the sunshine. I remember being worried that the scratch on my lid will be visible under the light. I wasted too much time feeling sad about the tiny scratch. A few days later, the maid entered with a beautiful rose in her hands. She kept the rose beside Blush. The rose was not planted in a pot. Instead, its roots were packed in a white cloth. Why are you here? Did you fall too? Fall? From where? I am here only for a few hours. They are going to plant me again. No, they won't. You too have flaws just like me. Look at your thorns. My thorns? My thorns are not my flaw. They are a part of me. I love myself with the thorns. But, but how is that possible? You cannot love your flaws. For the last time, they are not flaws, and these thorns make me who I am. People may love or hate me, but I love myself, and that is what matters. Just then, the owner came to the attic to visit his treasured teapot. Oh, I still feel so sad about you. I don't want to give you up. What do I do? As the owner sat down, thinking what he should do with Blush, and Blush thought to herself, Oh, he still loves me, even now that I'm just a bowl. How did I not see it before? He never cared about the scratch. The milk jug was right. Somebody will love me, and somebody will hate me. It's I who gets to decide who to spend my energy on. All this time I chose hate, but not anymore. From this day on, I choose love. Blush finally felt lighter and free. She realized that she was unnecessarily burdened about things that weren't in her control. She sighed and looked at her owner. Ah, <sighs> look at him. He is so sad about me. If he doesn't want to give up on me after all this, then I shouldn't be giving up on myself either. Hmm, let's see. How do I help him? 
Blush thought for a while and suddenly realized something. The rose, of course. He can use me as a pot for the rose. Blush quickly shifted herself towards the rose. She made sure that her owner was not looking at her because humans were not allowed to know the secret lives of teapots. She went very close to the rose and slightly tilted her head in her direction. Phew! Well, let's hope this does it. This should give him the clue. When the owner came back to the table, he was confused to see his teapot sitting so close to the rose. Wait, were you always sitting so close to the rose? <sighs> Doesn't matter. I still don't know what to do with... Wait, the rose. I can plant my rose in you. Oh, that's a brilliant idea. I am a genius. Oh, yeah, right. You had the idea. He ran with blush in one hand and the rose in the other. Wasting no time, he quickly got some mud from the garden and put it inside his teapot. He added a little water and planted the rose very carefully. It looked magnificent. A beautiful rose in a beautiful pot. Blush was the happiest teapot ever. She didn't care that she was broken or a little rough around the edges. She loved herself that way. She enjoyed the fresh breeze and the sunlight every day. After finally accepting herself completely, she realized that she didn't really have any flaws. She was not a broken teapot or a teapot with a scratch anymore. She was blush. <laughs>